Hey everyone, if you are looking for the easiest way to add artwork to your non-Steam games or just change the artwork that you have on your games, this is by far the simplest way to do it. But we do have to start in desktop mode, so we're going to go ahead and go over there and I'll show you the one thing that you got to install to make this happen. So over here in desktop mode, all we need to do is go to our web browser and we're going to go to github.com forward slash Steam Deck Homebrew forward slash decky dash loader. And I am so thankful for these guys over there at GitHub for putting all this together because they really have made this super simple for all of us. All right, so once we are at the website, what we're looking for is a big button that says download. So all we have to do is scroll down just a little bit. We see decky loader and then download. Go ahead and click download. It's going to be really fast. It's going to download the program for us. You can click right there in the installer or what I like to do is go to the file browser, go to downloads, double click the icon. All right, so once we run the program, it's going to ask us for a password. You don't have to have one. You can create one by going to the start menu and users and setting up a password. But they enter in a temporary password for you that allows you to go through the program, do whatever you need to do, and then it removes that temporary password. So we're just going to go with that and then click yes. We're going to click release, which is the recommended option, and then OK. It's going to go through its prompts, and it's going to download. Again, this is fairly quick. does not take very much time at all. Once that's done, click OK. Close out of the file browser, and we're done in desktop mode. So we're going to go ahead and switch back over to gaming mode. All right, once in gaming mode, all we have to do is push the three white dots at the bottom right of our Steam Deck, and you'll see a new icon available. It looks like a plugin. It's called Decky. Go ahead over to the store and click that. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to go through all these different plugins that we can add to our Steam Deck to allow us to do different things. So that you can look through here. There's a lot of beneficial things like updates to your Bluetooth, controller support to show the battery life. Very, very handy things. But we want to find one in particular. So we're going to scroll down until we find Steam Grid DB, and then install that one. All right, we see that it installed for us already. All we have to do is back out. Once we're on the artwork that we want to change, click Start, and then we see a new option available to us called Change Artwork. And that's going to prompt us to go through all of these different sections of the artwork and then we just choose whichever one we want so for the sake of this I'm just gonna choose the first one and then go through all of the different prompts and you just choose whichever one you like so again I'll choose the first one here but you don't have to again just choosing the first one but you can see that just for this one option there are many many different things to choose from Yeah, I like that one better. All right, when you're done, it's going to tell you to restart. You don't have to. If you have more that you want to do, click later. I'm going to go ahead and hit click restart now. And once we're back, you can see that everything's changed for it. The icons changed. The background, even when you're hovered over it, has changed. When you click into it, everything is different. So it pretty much does cover all artwork that you have for this tile. And again, this is just one. So you can go through and change all the different ones that you have, emulators, whatever it may be that you have on there, you can choose different artwork for. Now, if you want to find out how to add Xbox Game Pass or even PlayStation Plus, Amazon Games, uh, Battle.net, a really, really simple way to do all of those all at one time, go ahead and click on this video right here, and I'll see you there.